What's up YouTube, Chris at Rockford Ordnance. We are bringing you a video today on a tool for gunsmithing. You know, we do a lot of building, a lot of fixing, a lot of uh, adding optics and accessories, and sometimes we fail to talk about the things that make my job easy. The tools I use for gunsmithing. So, a very important part of working on any weapon is making sure what you are putting together is put together right, put together at the right torque specifications. Very, very important for a lot of things. So, over the years, I've used uh, torque drivers that are set at specific values. 20 inch pounds, 30 inch pounds, etc. They're preset. They are non-adjustable, uh, basic drivers, but they come in really handy. And then I have your basic click type torque wrenches. I think I even have some old beam type torque wrenches laying around here. But, uh, you know, having the preset ones for smaller jobs, mounting optics, things like that, can be kind of a pain in the neck. You gotta, you know, have the whole set first of all, and then uh, find the right one you need for a specific job. So. Uh, we were getting ready to finish up our AR-10 build and get ready to mount an optic and I saw this on sale and I've meant to grab one for years now and finally did. So like I said, we're finishing up the 308. I'm going to give you a quick sneak peek and flyby here. So you're only going to see it real quick, so take a good look. Here it is, our Aero Precision E Pluribus Unum. AR-10. It's going to be gorgeous. We're going to bring that to you real quick in a video here when it's done. Uh, I got a few things we're finishing up, mostly peripheral stuff. I got a bipod, charging handle, a cheap optic, uh, not cheap, inexpensive because I just haven't made a decision what I want to do with it yet. So uh, I got a cheap optic, it just worked out right, and we're gonna put that on there for now until we decide what we wanna do. Hey, maybe I'll end up leaving it, but like I said, a few peripheral things, but we're gonna mount that optic. So I thought, what better time than to bring you the Wheeler Engineering Fat Wrench. You may have heard of these and you thought, well, what the heck is a fat wrench? Well, essentially it is a torque driver. It's kind of fat, the handle, and we'll show you what that does for you and show you how it works. I did notice it's made in China, so, you know, who knows, when I think of quality in China, I think of Harbor Freight tools. And while there are some decent things there and they've gotten better over the years, a lot of their stuff I consider or I may buy for single-use projects, something I'm going to do once around the house and I only need the tool to last for that project and it's cheap enough and I buy it there. If it's something I may do two, three times or more in my life, I'll spend the money and do the better tool. Maybe something like, uh, I don't know, uh, I, I don't do a lot of home repair stuff, maybe a basin wrench or something like that. I'm just pulling something out of my rear right now, but uh, you get the idea. So anyways, comes in this blister pack. Let's open it up and see what we have here. Looks like it comes in a case. They split it so it looks good in the blister pack. But here's the bottom of the case. Comes with these drivers and the wrench. And then the top of the case, let me put this together real quick. Should just, there we go, snap in. So you've got the case and close it. Pretty nice little case. Keeps everything together. We've got a lot of torque bits or, or uh, driver bits here, but it's always nice to have more. One thing you may or may not know when you're working on a firearm, you want to use specifically uh, bits or screwdrivers made for gunsmithing. Uh, maybe not specifically gunsmithing, but uh, hollow ground, let's put it that way. So let's take a quick look. Here's, I'm using this big one for an example. Normal screwdriver, you know, let's say this is the blade, would just come to a point. There's an angle and then the top, you know, and 
that angle causes it to not fill the slot in the screw. Well, hollow ground is this, okay? So there's hollows ground out of here on each side. And what that does is rather than have an angle like this, you have the full slot filled because it's essentially straight from about here to the tip. And we'll fill that slot in the screw or fastener better. Not slip out uh, would be the first point. Number two, because it doesn't slip out, it's not gonna chew up the head of that screw and make your gun look all crappy. So you definitely wanna, at a minimum, use hollow ground bits or screwdrivers. But uh, if you hear people talking about them, that's what they're talking about. That's the difference between a regular screwdriver, mechanic screwdriver, and something you'd use for a purpose like this gunsmithing. So, we've all seen bits before. Uh, I assume they're fairly decent quality. I've never had a, I've got other Wheeler driver sets and the bits have held up just fine, really well actually. Also, uh, they're available just about everywhere. Brownell sells really nice ones. You can buy them uh, in bags of 10 and we go through them like crazy. But here is the wrench. Now, just feeling this wrench, I'm gonna take back everything I said about it being cheap and Chinese. Uh, it being Wheeler Engineering, they make a lot of nice stuff. I've got other stuff of theirs that I really like and this seems like it's gonna be no exception. The rubber on this is not plasticky and cheap. It feels really nice, uh, soft, but yet hard enough. And I get why they call it a fat wrench. Its shape is nice and big and fits the hand and you're really gonna be able to get some torque on that thing. So let's take a look at it. The end is like uh, any other driver. You can put the bits in there, it's magnetic. Here is your gauge. It goes between 10 pounds and 65 pounds and how you set it is if you can see on the bottom here they show you plus or minus which way to twist it so you just pull out on it and twist until you get to the gauge setting you want and there's a red line on there you set it wherever you want and once it's to that setting you just uh, put the proper bit in and turn it until it clicks. It acts like a click type torque wrench. So for new guys that don't know, you'll be turning, 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 you're putting pressure on and all of a sudden you'll hear and feel a click and it'll kind of release. And that means you've hit that poundage, that torque spec and the fastener is tightened. So everything you put on a firearm, whether it's an accessory or a part of the gun from the manufacturer uh, will and should have a torque spec. Most are in inch pounds. You may see them in Newton meters. You can convert it. Uh, some bigger stuff is uh, foot pounds, but and you can convert between inch and foot pounds. There's charts. Uh, search it out online. You'll find it. But uh, yeah, it's really a simple thing and it can avoid a lot of problems. When people think of torquing fasteners, a lot of guys will think, well, that's to keep them from stripping out, right? That's everybody's fear. Oh my God, I just stripped out this expensive component or I stripped out this screw or bolt and it's uh, kind of a proprietary thing and you're gonna have to order it or search it out or find it and your weekend or day of uh, the range may be screwed up because of it. So yeah, this will keep you from uh, stripping something, but really what it's there for is a few things. Safety, reliability, and quite often accuracy. Uh, manufacturers give torque recommendations because they have found that's the optimal um, tightness to A, keep something in place, B, keep from uh, distorting or over tensioning something which could throw off accuracy, etc. So yeah, it's, there's a lot of different things that come into play. For instance, we're gonna use this, like I said, to mount that optic. Well, when you're putting caps on uh, scope rings, let's say you have the, the four screws, you want those to be even. And if one's tighter than the other, or 
too tight or not tight enough, it'll affect the torque uh, specs on the other three. So you want them all even, and this will give you, yeah, you know, over the years, I probably have a torque wrench built right in here. You know, I, I, it connects up here, and I kind of can feel. I, I bet I'm pretty close. I could probably you tell me 30 inch pounds. I bet I could crank it out manually and be pretty close, but that comes with years and years of experience. And why not be right on the money and have everything torqued right? Screws aren't going to come loose at the range on you, ruin your day, or you lose a screw you can't replace easily. You don't break parts, strip things, all this good stuff. Barrel nuts, using a torque wrench to, uh, on a barrel nut is a must. Uh, not only for safety to keep it tight, but for accuracy, right? Same with the scopes, to hold zero. You want everything torqued right so it stays where you put it. And uh, that's about it, guys. Handy tool, spend the money. You hear me talk about things like uh, roll pin uh, punches and stuff. The stuff is cheap, guys, and it makes your life so, so much easier. Uh, roll pin punches, don't have to worry about scratching a receiver, torque wrench. Don't have to worry about stripping things or having your accuracy be off or your day ruined because something came loose. So spend a little bit of money. This was somewhere between 40 and 50 bucks and uh, great investment. You'll use it much more than you think, I promise you. Anyhow, thought we'd bring you that. We're gonna finish up this rifle and bring you the video and uh, it's gonna be cool. You're gonna like it. So thanks for tuning it in. Hope everybody's safe. We are coming up on a thousand subscribers, guys. I can't, can't even fathom it. Seems like the other day I was thinking, how the heck is, are a hundred people gonna watch my dumb videos? And here we are at a thousand, about to be monetized. Uh, I doubt it's gonna be a lot of money, but uh, we'll see. Anyhow, uh, appreciate everything. And uh, check out our Instagram, check out our Facebook, and as always, Rockford Ordnance. Out.